Hello everybody, so today we're with, with a, oh man, you know what, I'm just so tired of this, I can't concentrate, it, you know, it's just starting to be too much, I can't focus, I just get tired, you know, working a job and doing this, okay, nice deep breath, I smell some lavender, oh, that's good, very calming, Thank you. So, I do. Thank All you. Right. All right. So today, we are sitting down with Janice Polina of doTERRA Oils, and she's here to tell us the benefits of oils and why doTERRA over the store brand bought. Next, on the Small Business Voice. Hello everybody and thank you for watching the Small Business Voice. The Small Business Voice is a platform for small business owners to have their voice heard. And what would those small business owners ask you to do? They would ask you to be loyal and please buy local. So today we're sitting down with Jan Spelina of doTERRA Oils. Jan, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now Jan, you know doTERRA for six years now, but that's not your complete history. You actually have a teaching background, correct? Uh, I do. I've been a teacher pretty much all my life. Public, private schools, charter schools. Um, I've been using oils for 30 years as well. So it's kind of a natural progression. I was teaching 7th grade math for 15 years and decided that it was going to be way more fun to teach adults about essential oils and how to stay healthier with natural mm -hmm. solutions. Nice. So so you've been with doTERRA for six years. I have. Um, so tell me some of the uh, benefits that, that you have with uh, doTERRA. Doterra actually saves me a lot of time and money because we don't have to run to urgent care a lot. Um, we can almost always take care of ailments the minute we start feeling them. Um, and when we can do that with this pure essential oils, we get some good results and our body can heal itself. Um, it's also helped me to keep my immune system pretty strong, so I'm able to withstand a lot of the typical threats that people associate with, especially this time of the year. Okay. So, um, the doTERRA oils, uh, you, you actually use that in your classroom, correct? I did use doTERRA yeah. in my classroom, especially <laughs> this time of year when yeah. all the kids were coughing and sneezing in my face. Um, I put them in a diffuser and it was a great blend that had a little bit of clove and cinnamon, so it smelled kind of festive. So the kids enjoyed it. Everybody that watched through would say, oh, your room smells so good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, it was very successful. I also used another blend with some of my students that had focus issues. Okay. And it would just allow them to have a little clay disc with a little bit of the oil and it would help them focus and pay attention and think about what they're supposed to be thinking about, which is the math. Yes, wow. Yeah, I, I call it always kind of daydream when it came to math, so... Um, Pretty common, I'm afraid. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so how were you introduced to oils to begin with? Like, let's, we'll kind of go back and then we'll go into doTERRA a little bit. Okay. Um, Honestly, I don't know. I know that I've always had an interest in natural things. I've always felt like we can keep ourselves healthy. We don't need to be sick. We have a wonderful immune system that we were given. And if you keep that strong, it, it really works for you. So even as a high schooler, I used to go to the health food store and buy herbs and make okay. my own facial toner and make my own hair stuff. So it's been something that I've always been really interested in. I watched family members suffer from side effects of um, prescriptions that they were given. And I know a lot of people who have abused prescriptions. So for me, finding something alternative and, and healthy and natural seems to make sense. Yeah. Well, and I actually noticed that like a lot of, I see a lot of commercials on TV where something's always being pushed on you. like. Um, you know, like I remember, like when Viagra first came out, like that was really being pushed. You know, but you know, but, but, but we all, all knew what that was for. Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> Some of them now you don't even know what it's for. Well, yeah, and, and they hire they yeah. hire these celebrities to do do the commercials, and it's like the last one I saw was with Ray Liotta with Chantix, and that was like to help with smoking. But but there's always in the middle it says side effects may include. You know, and you don't really Do you know. Do you ever notice how those side effects are the longest part of that commercial? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And even though they're saying it with a smile on their face as they're going through their day, 
Um, so oils is an alternative to that, correct? Correct, and if you think about it, essential oils aren't anything new. If you think back thousands of years, the first medicine were plants. And so it's really not anything new. What's new in the past, I would say about 10 years, is the technology to mm -hmm. distill the product properly and get the really essence of that plant and then to test it and make sure that it's pure and it's not has doesn't have anything that could be harmful in it um, and then now what's really exciting is they're testing with human tissue we have about 150 hospitals and clinics and uh, teaching universities that are working with doTERRA products and they're actually running a lot of clinical trials so we're now able to prove not only the safety and the effectiveness well the safety um, but now the effectiveness okay so you were introduced to doTERRA about six years ago and, and you, like you said you've been with oils or using oils all your life but there's there's a big difference with doTERRA over the store brand uh, oils. there is there's really no agency that tests supplements or essential oils so they can pretty much put anything on the bottle they want. It mm -hmm. can say pure, but it only has to be about 3% pure. Okay. And no one has tested that. So consequently, people that purchase oils from a non-reputable source, from somebody who doesn't make essential oils their sole business, yeah. um, often they'll buy an oil and they'll try it, and it didn't give them any results. And so they get discouraged right away, and they think, oh, essential oils don't work. I'll give you an example, Justin, mm -hmm. my dentist mentioned that he had tried lavender mm -hmm. for calming, which is what I gave you oh, earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, really <laughs> I do remember down. that, yes. So he I tried do feel better, it. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. Yes. laughs> um, he tried it, and he said, I even put some on my dog, and he said, my dog went crazy, and I didn't feel any calmer. Yeah. And I said, well, why don't you try some of this? And I gave him a little sample of my lavender, doTERRA lavender. Mm -hmm. And the next time I saw him a couple weeks later, so what do you think, Doc? Did, did that work for you? And he said, oh, that really calmed me down. Even my dog liked it this time. <laughs> so there is a big difference in where you get your oils, where they're sourced, how they're, um, how they're distilled, how they're pulled from the plant. Um, and so doTERRA is really big on the testing part of it. And, and doTERRA is, is pure. Um, it's, that's your sole business, so it's, it's, it's pure. Um, I, want, I wanted to make a comment really quick about um, about how if you buy it at the store, it's about 3%. All that. I, I watched a documentary on uh, Netflix. It's called Bigger, Faster, Stronger. And it showed um, how these, mus like these muscle-bound guys, they, they, uh, they make protein pills. And since the FDA is like so waxed on that, um, it's mostly cornstarch or something like that. It's, it's, it's weird. And, and they don't test it. They don't... So it's basically like any moron can make uh, protein powder, basically. Um, so we're going to get more. Go ahead. It, it's, it's not even a question of whether you ingest it. It's a question of is it bioavailable in your body? Can your mm -hmm. body absorb whatever it is you just put into it? Because if it's not bioavailable, it's going to go straight through you. It's not going to help. Well, and you're right. And w with a lot of the pills, um, they come in those casings. And most of those casings don't even dissolve in your system. They just go right through. There's just no way really of knowing. So yeah. one thing that I'm really proud for doTERRA, our oils are tested at three separate times. They're tested when they're first harvested, mm -hmm. um, and then they're tested once they're distilled, and then once doTERRA bottles them, they're tested a third time. Okay, wow. So they're certified pure oh. therapeutic grade. So we certify they're free of contamination, and their potency is enough to be therapeutic. You will find... Um, I'm just blank all of a <laughs> well, the, the D in doTERRA stands for diligent. They, they want to make sure they're <laughs> there you go. everything out there they oh, can. Oh, I know yes. where it was going. Okay. So <laughs> it's not just doTERRA. We have Aromatic Plant Research Center that tests our oils. We mm -hmm. have another third party, and doTERRA does the testing. So there's extensive testing, eight different tests that go through three different labs, basically, mm -hmm. to confirm that these are the highest quality oils that you can find. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, that's excellent. You know, we, we should have more companies like that. So why don't we take a quick break real quick, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Every journey begins with a single step. Are you ready to take yours? Here at Modesto Junior College, we can help you begin. 
The college offers a variety of programs and opportunities, including financial aid. MJC students can transfer to four-year colleges after graduating. Our instructors will prepare you for a successful future in the field of your choice. If you want a quality, affordable education with unlimited horizons, make Modesto Junior College your first step. So we're back with Jan Spelina of doTERRA Oils. Now I know we kind of touched on this earlier, Jan, but what, what was your experience, like your personal experience? Look, you use the oils, um, you are using store-bought ones for a long time, and then doTERRA came into your life. So tell me about your experience. When I started using oils, again, I bought the best I could find, um, but there were a lot of warnings, don't take them internally, um, and yet, I was able to raise my daughter completely naturally without prescriptions and over-the-counter medications um, using them. When I found doTERRA, the biggest thing was, first of all, I could feel the difference much more quickly, mm -hmm. and second of all, I only needed a drop oh. instead of half the bottle. Yeah. Like they worked much more quickly, I could feel the difference, I could feel my, my head discomfort going away, I could feel throat discomfort going away, I could settle my daughter down and help her s sleep better. Mm -hmm with just a drop or two versus, like I said, a half yeah. a bottle. Well, and then my cell phone went off too. Normally I'd just throw it across the room, but that just that lavender really just relaxed me too. So, <laughs> so things happen, you know, things that we don't plan for happen. So right. that's good to and, have. And lavender is a really versatile oil. You can use it for a lot of things. I think one of the things that makes doTERRA oil so effective um, is their sourcing procedure and their testing procedure. We source from all over the world, and many of the countries we source from are third world, poverty-stricken countries. Mm. The nice thing is doTERRA goes in and starts sourcing, and it gives those people a way to increase their standard of living. We put in clinics, we put in schools and water supplies, so we actually give back to those communities in a big way. That's right. Um, we also donate, you know, we have had a lot of fire issues here in California. Yeah. Um, we're donating uh, items to that. Uh, we have floods periodically everywhere, it seems, these days. We donate to that. Um, but the nice thing about doTERRA is because they're so stringent and driven by purity, um, when we source, we have it tested. In fact, um, Roseman University of Physical Sciences, mm -hmm. um, unbeknownst to doTERRA, tested some of our oils against other oils, other mm -hmm. industry-leading oils, and found that doTERRA had specific molecular fingerprints that could not be copied or duplicated by other essential oils. Okay. A lot of them like buy a plot of land and grow all their plants. Yeah. Well, yeah, lavender will grow everywhere, but are you going to get that quality that you get when you get it from the high altitudes in France or from the climate in Bulgaria? So that's really a huge thing. Um, oh, and okay. that was confirmed and verified by an outside source. Had, they have nothing to do with us. It's a university that works with physical sciences. Wow. They have a dental program and all kinds of health programs for people to attend there. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting, I thought. Wow, that is interesting. So, um, how many different countries are do, doTERRA? Like what, what is it like 33 countries? It's there? actually, I think we were at 46, I believe we're up oh, to 49. 49. 49 different countries and like 28 of them are you know, third world, poverty stricken, like they barely have a way to, to keep a roof over their heads. Yeah. So doTERRA comes in and, you know, we form co-ops, we train our, our farmers, we do a lot of programs for the community. Um, and it's it's very satisfying to know that the company has that kind of integrity. It's not just let's go into this country and take what we can from them. It's let's go in and how can we improve their life? Because they're giving us something of value. So. You kind of adopted that business motto, and we talked about that earlier. Um, we, we're all business people, and we're, we're, you know, we have to make money, you know, to have a successful business. Sure. But that can be that can't be our number one um, thing that drives us, and that's not and that's not how you run your business either. No, um, one of the worst things anybody can do for me is buy some oils from me because they like me, they think I'm nice, they want to yeah. be nice. I don't. I want you to get oils because I want you to change your life. I'm not really, I'm not in this business for selling a bottle of oil. I'm in this business to change people's lives and that's where it's at for me. I can change way more lives doing this than I could teaching seventh grade math, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so when it boiled down to it, this one out. Plus this is so much fun and I have yeah. so much experience with this. <laughs> so, um, okay, um, so people that you do that want to sell doTERRA underneath you, 
Um, you want them to have that same philosophy also. You don't want them just to, you know, sell just to sell. You yeah. want them to learn about the product. You want them to be teachers, basically. Sure, I, yeah. I am always looking for people to join my tr tribe, as I call them. <laughs> um, but I want them to have a hippie heart. I want them to be in it to help people, not for the money. And I would yeah. never approach anybody, you know, how would you like to make some money? Yeah. I want you, first of all, to have your life changed. Yeah. And then when you do, how can you not share that? Yeah. You know, if you use an oil for a horrible tension headache and your neighbor comes over and they're suffering, are you not going to share? Like, it's just kind of a natural outgrowth of, of wanting to care about people and wanting to care for people yeah. and help them. And you never leave the house without your oils, correct? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> this is only one of my containers. I have another one over there. Um, no, I always have my oils with me. I never know when I'm going to need them or I'm going to run across somebody who does. Yes. I've stopped and, and gotten out of my car and helped people that have just been in a car wreck and they're standing like shaking on the side of the road and crying i will stop and yeah. take lavender over to them and just help them calm down a little bit well let's talk about lavender for a second because i want to talk about the benefits of lavender so i'm going to tell you a little bit of story about a little bit about okay. my, my past um my daughter when she was two years old went to blow out a candle um her hair fell down into the candle and it caught her hair on you know her hair caught fire burned her forehead um it happened at such a young age, she doesn't even think about it now. It's, it happened about 15 years ago. Um, but she had a second degree burn on her forehead. Um, so we had to go to Shriners Hospital in Sacramento, which is an excellent, excellent hospital. Um, we never had a payment from there. I mean, they, they're just there to help. I mean, it's just how hospitals should be. Mm -hmm. um, and my daughter's case was a, was didn't compare I mean, there were kids in there with third degree burns from head to toe. I mean, it's one of the saddest things you could see. Mm -hmm. And talking to uh, one of the mothers in there, um, she learned um, that lavender um, actually helps with, um, with, with the steam, with the burning, um, with the scarring. Um, and there's a lot of benefits. Um, can you kind of touch on that a little there bit? There is. Lavenders and oil, that is for everything calming. So whether it's for physical, you know, skin conditions, like you mentioned, burns, um, or emotional issues, it's a very calming oil. I've used it on an airplane to calm down a screaming infant. Um, <laughs> if I burn myself, my latest thing has been on my hair straightener, grabbing mm -hmm. it the wrong way, and I'll just put a drop of lavender on it. Um, and everybody has their own little folk remedies for burns, but yeah. for me, the lavender is always really effective. Um, if you're having trouble getting to sleep, relaxing in the evening, it's a great oil to use. Um, even sunburns, you know, you mentioned oh. burns. Even sunburns, you can actually put it in a spray bottle so you don't have to touch that tender skin. Oh, nice. And just spray it on the sunburn and it really helps to relieve the discomfort and helps the skin to heal a bit. Okay. Um, now, I did something stupid a long time ago too, probably about 10 years ago, was I made a, I was making a couple of noodles and uh, I, I heated up the water in a kettle, so stupid me, when I went to go pour it, I was holding a cup of noodles in one hand, kettle in the other, and when I poured it, I got it on my hand, so I, I, had, a, I had a pretty bad burn on my hand, and I didn't know about the lavender oil, and, and I wish I did, because that, that thing stung for like two weeks, I had to re-bandage it, and, and it, was a, wow. it was a big pain, um, in more ways than one, and I just wish I had lavender in the house. Well, that points out a good reason for people to be prepared with a basic, simple kit with foundational oils. Mm -hmm. It's great to have them on hand so when an emergency does arise. And I've had my neighbor uh, has a little boy, and he was out in the grass one day, and he stepped on a bee. Ooh. And, you know, yeah, the pain goes away, but yeah. this poor child was really upset, and it was yeah. hurting his toe. And, you know, we got the stinger out. We put a little bit of oil in pretty quick. Yeah. He calmed down and it stopped hurting. So it's just nice to be prepared. Yeah. You can still go to the doctor. You can still go to urgent care. But in the meantime, you could start something that would give a little bit of relief. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we're going to talk more about doTERRA because uh, there's something that you're very passionate about that we talked about. So okay. we're going to take a break and we'll be back right after a word from our sponsors. When it comes to getting your car detailed, it's hard to choose the right place. At Davis Family Shines, we sweat the small stuff, so you don't have to. At DFS, we're fully licensed and insured. 
guaranteeing your car is in good hands. With over 15 years of professional detailing, you can trust we're experienced and know how to take care of whatever life throws your way. Specializing in automotive restoration, we're offering interior-only details as low as $99 and complete details as low as $199. That's a huge savings. With a variety of packages including headlight restoration and windshield repair, you'll be sure to find a deal to fit your car's needs. Call today to schedule your appointment, 209-495-0525 or go online at ModestoCarDetailing.com. Treat yourself to that new car feeling today. We're back with Jan Spelina of doTERRA Oils. Now, I have to ask this question, Jan, before we get into um, what doTERRA is involved in, because I, I, I love that cause, but getting back to the oils, um, how many different oils are there and what can they be used for? Oh gosh, if you look at single oils and blends, we probably have close to 100 right now. And they okay. can be used for anything physical or emotional. So physical might be um, discomfort, um, hormonal balance, um, stress and fear, um, sleep and rest. Um, let's see, anti-aging, they're great for anti-aging, weight management. What's amazing is essential oils actually enter into the cell membrane. Mm. So they can be really crucial and supportive of cellular health. Okay. So your cardiovascular system, your digestive, your respiratory, um, all of those things, oils have a place um, and they can contribute to a healthier system. What I really like is the emotional issues because we have lots of people out here in the world today that are stressed mm. and full of anxiety and um, we've already proven that we just end up with an epidemic of you know people using opiates and yeah. we're trying to help that and i believe you know that there's an opportunity for essential oils to be helpful in that because when you smell them like you found this as soon yes. as you started <laughs> as soon as you smell it it really does affect your emotions yes so it's wonderful for use for emotional issues as well okay now do you do you have a favorite or or do you have a lot of Justin, favorites? Justin, that's like asking me my favorite child. <laughs> now, I only have one child, so it's an okay. easy answer for yes. me. But if I had more than one child, can you, like, what's your, who's your favorite child? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just a hard question. I use, I use probably two dozen oils during the day, during the course of the day. Okay. And they're not necessarily the same oils. They're different oils. And I'm just very comfortable with them and I'm very intuitive, which I like to get my customers to feel that way about them too. You yeah. really can't do much wrong. I try to make sure my customers know about safety and how to use them properly. Okay. Um, now the oils, um, when you when you inhale them, or is that the right word? Or when you, yes. yeah, when you inhale, inhale them, mm -hmm. or if, if you have to rub it in somewhere, it's more direct to the source. Like when you take a pill, it may take a while for it to kind of react, but the oils are pretty, I'm not going to say instantaneous, but they're pretty They're pretty quick. They're pretty yeah, quick, You can yes. put uh, essential oils on the bottom of your feet. You have a lot of open pores, and they get into your bloodstream pretty quickly. Yes. Um, and when you inhale them, they go straight to your brain. It goes straight to your limbic center, which is your emotional control center. Okay. That's how they can control those emotions and calm you down. Um, so they do work very quickly, and they don't have to go through your digestive system as another, as a pill would, would have to do. Yeah, okay. Um, now, doTERRA is involved in... The, in um, underground, I forget how you pronounce it, but it's it's the Underground Railroad, but it's not the one we were taught about in school. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's a different not. kind of the Underground Railroad. Correct. And it's something that you're very passionate about. And I want you to go ahead and share with the people what, what charity that you're involved in and okay. what doTERRA does. Okay. Uh, so doTERRA has a section of foundation called Healing Hands. And when you donate, 100% goes directly to the people that need it. doTERRA covers all the administrative costs. One part of our healing hands that I'm really attached to at the heart is Operation Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. And that goes all over the world to stop sex trafficking of children and bring children home. We've just built a Rafa house in Haiti for a place for those children to go and be rehabilitated because it is, it's really tough what they do to kids these days. Mm -hmm. And I first learned about it through doTERRA. I was shocked. Um, and I first learned about it through doTERRA and then I came home and was mentioning to one of my customers, and she said, oh, we have without permission here in the Central Valley. Nice. And that is also involved with trying to educate children and their families about 
the issue of sex trafficking. It's pretty huge here in the Central Valley. So I do donate on a regular basis to Healing Hands for Operation Underground Railroad, and I volunteer with, without permission. We need to get the word out. We need to protect our children. Yeah, well, and there's something, I don't think, they, they might think about it, but they don't think about it, if that makes any sense, to where it's, sometimes it's like out of sight, out of mind sort it's of It's very thing. insidious. It yeah. causes every class of, of, of people. Um, they look specifically for kids who have low self-esteem. And I'm telling you, as a teacher in classrooms, there's a lot of kids out there with yeah. low self-esteem. And they target those kinds of kids. Um, it, it is, most people kind of want to put their head in the sand, but if you know someone whose their child has disappeared, for me, that's the first thing I think of. Mm -hmm. um, and I pray, you know, that the police are able to bust this ring. So um, I, I feel really strongly we need to protect our children. And, yeah. and I'm very happy that we have something local, um, but I'm also really thrilled that doTERRA does something international as well. Well, and then kind of getting something for people to think about. Um, you know, it, we're taught, you know, it, like most of us, like, you know, watch out for that guy that's, that's trolling for people in, in the dark web or whatever it, it is, you know, and we're told, look out for men, look out for men. But we're also now told to look out for women because now women are doing the same thing. Well, that's part of the control issue. When they have a woman, then they have complete control. Often she, in fact, I met a woman whose daughter was kind of seduced into that lifestyle by another female. Mm. She was a couple years older than her and befriended her. And you know, when you're a kid and you have low self-esteem and somebody's telling you you're beautiful or someone's acting like they want to hang out with you mm. and they're older, you're just really flattered and mm. it gives you that satisfaction. So um, it was pretty easy from what I understand for her daughter to get caught up in it and you know, we're going to shop together, we're going to buy this, and bikinis, and oh, we're going to celebrate with a drink, and the poor girl was in middle school. Oh my God. Oh. Um, so it's it's just, the stories that I've heard just make my blood go cold, like I really, you know, there's so many different um, places that you can donate, I mean, animals, the ASPCA and all of that, you know, that's kind of a soft spot for me too, but mm. you kind of I felt like I had to pick one that really made a huge difference and was really near and dear to my heart, so for me it's the Operation Underground Railroad and locally without permission, and I feel really, whatever I can do is yeah. helpful. Now, would you say that we're kind of winning the war on that? I mean, I know it's something that will never go away, but, <sighs> but, we're, but we're boasting the, the police are actually busting more rings than, than are being publicized, correct? I, I believe so. I mean, busting the rings is only the first step. Mm. You, you need to give these children back their life. And oftentimes their families need counseling and they need some help too. It's just um, many of the kids are drugged in order to keep them compliant. Mm. Um, and so you not only have their emotional issues, but you have a physical, a real physical issue of addiction to a drug which they've been fed for god knows how long yeah so um they really need a lot of tlc and, and forgiveness and and um it is a really complicated problem i don't know that we're making much headway it is promising to hear it a lot whenever i hear it on the news i'm like silently going yay <laughs> um i mean i'm just you know a lot of prayer hoping yeah. that we can find a way to stop people from wanting this yeah because it's just beyond me. I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't either. Um, it's really sad that we, you know, we're in a world like that. You know, and it just seems like it's happening a lot lately. You know what? I don't think I ever told you this. Uh, DoTerra came out with an oil blend called Hope. Uh, oh wow! And you peel back the label, uh -huh. and there's an 800 number that children can call to get rescued. Wow! And they distribute this oil on the streets in certain cities where they know. Yeah that the uh, sexual trafficking of children like around I understand Super Bowl yeah oh wow when Super Bowl happens in that town wherever the yeah. Super Bowl is being played there's huge parties going on yeah. so they would wander around and I would imagine because I don't know all the secrets yeah. but give out this hope oil the kids can peel back the label call an 800 number and get rescued wow that's that's amazing so and when you purchase that particular blend with doTERRA the full purchase price goes directly back to healing hands wow that's amazing
Well, before we finish up, I want to take another break. And okay. I think you have one other thing to share with us, and then we'll close out. And uh, okay. all right, we'll be right back from a word from our sponsors. Hey, Papa, aren't you supposed to get your taxes done today? Oh, I ain't got time. I want to watch the game. Haven't you heard of the Sanders Income Tax Service mobile app that everybody's been talking about? You can get your taxes done now and finish watching your game later. Oh, that's right. Remember, by filing right, you get more here at Sanders Income Tax. Look forward to seeing you this year. So we're back with Jan Spelina of doTERRA Oils. Um, so Jan, you've really educated us today, you being a teacher and all. <laughs> so. <laughs> How can people get a hold of you and what can they expect? Um, I think we're going to flash my contact information up on the yeah, screen it'll be here. A, yes. So um, basically they can text me or call me. What I like to do is get started with a sample so that they can have an oil experience. Um, and then from there, if they're pleased with the experience and if they're open to it, I'll sit down for a free consultation. It takes about 30 minutes um, and there's no obligation, but I can find out what their health goals are and tell them a little bit about doTERRA and then which oils could help them meet their health goals and then we just kind of go from there. An important thing though is I do coach people when they get started with the oils because they need someone to hold their hand and make sure that they're using them properly and with safety um, and using them consistently and if they're not getting the results I want to make sure I know that so that I can help them find something else that might help them get the results that they're looking for. Okay, well that's excellent and what better person to learn from than a teacher. So yeah. <laughs> somebody that taught seventh graders math. I mean that's yeah, I've always kind of spaced out during that. So it's math wasn't my strong oh, subject. You didn't have yeah. me having so, a hedge with that. Yes. <laughs> <Since childhood. laughs> so that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank Jan Spelina of Doterra Oils for coming on the show. Thanks again Jan for coming on. Thanks for having me Justin. It was okay. a pleasure. Thank you. Now if you're a small business owner that would like to have their voice heard, please contact me at new small business voice at gmail.com or you can go to our website which is probably not really up and running yet but it is there it's the uh, www.smallbusinessvoice.biz uh, and then we can kind of go from there see what your needs are so again Jan thank you for coming on the show and thank you for watching the small business voice join the crusade bye local we'll see you next time